Well, I can't think of any way to better support education in the community than for KCTS and PEMCO to align because we are totally members of the community and supportive of the community. PEMCO Insurance, a Northwest company, is proud to be a longtime supporter of the KCTS Golden Apple Awards that honor Washington's best teachers and programs, some of which are a lot like us, a little different. In the Seattle area, we're blessed with amazing high school bands who win national competitions. But every kid has to start somewhere. Darren Motabany teaches fifth and sixth graders in Kent, many of whom have never picked up an instrument in their lives. As you watch this story from Josephine Chang, keep in mind that Darren composed all of the music that you're going to hear. Four beats in a measure. And a quarter note gets one count. And a quarter note gets one count. No worries. One, two, three, Many fifth and sixth graders in Kent would never learn about beats or breaths or embouchures. Right? You want to play like that, not this. Unless they enter the marvelous world of Darren Motamity, by night a professional saxophonist. And by day, a band teacher the kids call Mr. Mo. We include everybody. If you want to be in band, you can be in band. Okay, let's pretend we're at a concert, okay? Mr. Mo travels to five schools throughout Kent, hoping to strike a chord with hundreds of kids each year. There you go, much better. Why? Because as a kid, school was never his forte. I was always in trouble. I broke the bus window when I was oh in fifth grade. I you know, was breaking desks, and I was just clumsy, too. But music helped you. Music saved my life. I'm just telling you, music saved my life. One and two and ready and play. So Mr. Mo pays it forward. See that kid in the back? He couldn't see well, wasn't in tune with school. But Mr. Mo got him jazzed up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Mr. Mo has inspired Fernando so much. His music has encouraged him in all other areas of his studies and has shown him that practice pays off, that working hard pays off, and that you can do anything you try to do. Anything's possible, even for a kid. That's why Mr. Mo writes music for his students and sometimes arranges for paying gigs. And Fernando comes so excited one day, he goes, Mrs. P, Mrs. P, we got $26 last night, $26. <laughs> A lot of families may not have the financial means to buy an instrument or even rent an instrument. What, as a band teacher, can you do? I don't know, I probably have 50 instruments at home where I've just collected. If you give me a trombone. Mr. Mo gave you a trombone? Yeah. Wow. Why do you do that? Why? Because they need them. But also, I mean, I, I love my kids, and so we can stop for a second, but... He's far more than an elementary band teacher. Oh, yeah. It's... A teacher who helps kids learn about playing the sharps and flats of life for all their worth. Yeah, Mr. Mo. Well, you know, I, I heard you say that you collect instruments, so we'll make this 51. Way back in the day, like way back in the day, 40 years ago in junior high and high school, I played saxophone. So I'd like to give this to you, because oh, I know it's going to have you. a good home. Thank you. All right. And congratulations. Well, thank you, too. Why, uh, I'm truly humbled to uh, be here today. Um, because of my uh, family's legacy, I've always felt that um, I had a lot to prove in my life. My grandfather was on the very first uh, League of Nations, and um, he used his diplomatic skills to try to heal the world with his voice, to try to make the world one. My father moved to America in the 50s, and he became a doctor. And um, he was one of the first uh, doctors to deliver the uh, polio vaccine and he healed children through his gift. Music is the medicine that um, 
I try to use. It's the vehicle to bring students together, students of all colors, all religions, Hindu kids, Somali kids, black, brown, white. In band, we celebrate the individual effort, and yet we realize as a team we're building the next community of Americans, note by note and song by song. This Christmas Eve, my son grasped my wife and my hands during dinner, and he asked if he could pray with us. He simply said, Daddy, even though the world can be bad, we're still good. Amen. Today, I continue to teach understanding the huge responsibility that I bear to make a difference in this world through music. I try to touch the greatness of my father and my grandfather, and I strive to live up to the prophetic words of my son. We're all good. Thank you. <laughs>